Spoilers ahead for the Super Mario Brother movie! Super Mario Bros. has a relentless amount of Easter eggs and cameos, and with the movie breaking records and being a huge hit with audiences, here are the top 10 characters I would love to see in the sequel to the Super Mario Brothers. Birdo! First appearing in Super Mario Brothers 2, Birdo, or Catherine in Japanese, and calls herself Birdetta, is a prehistoric dinosaur, kind of like a Yoshi. Not really, she spits out, wait, she spits out eggs. Wait a minute. Birdo is not only awesome, but was also one of the first transgender video game characters ever. Bowser Jr. Look at the end of the movie, Bowser is shrunk and imprisoned in the Mushroom Kingdom. Maybe Bowser Jr., with the help of the Koopalings, could come to Bowser Sr.'s rescue. Baby Yoshi. In Super Mario Brothers the movie, we see Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, and Baby Peach. If we're going for a sequel, you'd hope for a Baby Yoshi. Baby Yoshi first appeared in Super Mario World. Yoshi, just regular Yoshi. Okay, this is what happens when Baby Yoshi grows up. But with the end credit tease, we are sure to get Yoshi, who also debuted in Super Mario World. And of course, we do see an island of Yoshis in the first movie. Nabbit! First appearing in new Super Mario Bros. You, the joy of Nabbit is it's up to Mario or Luigi to capture him at the request of Toad. This could be a fun side quest in an upcoming Mario movie. He's such a pest. Daisy making her first appearance in Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. Daisy made her first on-screen appearance in the live action 1993 film portrayed by Samantha Mathis. She is the princess of Saracaland. Daisy was brought into the Mario Tennis family after creators rejected the idea of an evil peach. Egad! 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 My favorite professor, aside from maybe Professor Ludwig von Drake, Egad was first created for Luigi's Mansion way back in 2001. Professor Elvin Gad is a researcher of ghosts and invented many things such as the poltergust vacuums. Egad also created and supplied Mario with Flood in Mario Sunshine. His crazy inventions could create a series of fun events for the plumbing brothers. Toadette, a true speedster. Toadette made her debut in Mario Kart Double Dash way back in 2003. Since then, she has appeared in over 20 games and even shows up in a poster on the streets of the Mushroom Kingdom. Wario. Debuting in Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy, Wario has been a foil and anti-hero ever since. A fan favorite, even Jack Black, said he hopes Pedro Pascal would voice Wario in a sequel. Wario has had his own spin-off games and appeared in other spin-offs. A bizarro version of Mario as the foil in a sequel could be a lot of fun. Rosalina. Entering the Mario Galaxy in 2007, Rosalina has been a mainstay in the Mario universe. Her duty is to protect and watch over the cosmos. After Lumilee and a large universe was mentioned in the first movie, one would have to guess that Rosalina is out there somewhere watching over the events of the Mushroom Kingdom. And if they could bring in Perry the Umbrella, that would be fantastic. Also, who would you like to see in the sequel for Super Mario Brothers the movie part two? Thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.